everyone. Uh, so let me just go ahead and share my screen here. So I'm going to kind of do this, uh, do this live a little bit on the on the fly. Um, so I'm going to take you through SharePoint. Uh, I'm going to show you um, some of, some of the elements of SharePoint that you can use. I'll then show you how you can create a departmental page uh, and how you can start building that page to really uh, dynamically push it towards that particular team. I'll then show you how um, live working uh, works with an Excel sheet with my colleague Mike and then we'll show you how we can integrate this um, into Teams so make it really highly accessible. So first off you can see I've created a click demo site here. Um, I think this looks pretty good but one thing to note is is that actually I've used Microsoft's templates and you can go ahead and view those templates at uh, lookbook.microsoft.com this is really great gives you a nice starting point that you can really go off and uh, choose what template you want and then you just modify it to your needs if i go back to the click demo page here every element that you see here is called a web part uh, and they're highly dynamic. You can add, change, and move those about within this screen, within Microsoft's, what they call their SharePoint new experience. So first off right here, if I go edit, I've got this particular page here, and this is called a hero. Um, I like the idea of sharing ideas throughout the team. So I create this hero here. What I would do next is, as a Adam said, I'd go ahead and I'd create a Microsoft form. And so I'd link this to that form. And uh, that form would then be highly dynamic, ask those questions, how maybe your team can improve, what processes you can improve. And then this becomes the forefront of this particular page. Next down, I've got what's called quick links. Now I've used this particular quick link to link to sub department pages, finance, human resources, projects team, support team, whatever you might have there. Next down, uh, news and announcements. Maybe you've got some big announcements uh, coming up within the organization. You can then, you can bosh those there and that'd be really, really good, really forefront for the team to see what's going on within, within the organization. So for us in particular, when we have management meetings, this would be a nice place to do news announcements for that. Next down, uh, training for me is a big thing. So I just wanted to know what are we doing as training? So I put some some metrics in there to say we've had 80 training sessions conducted. We now support 25 new technologies, so on and so forth. So again, it's about bringing that information quick and fast and forward to the forefront of the SharePoint for your users. Next thing, I've got some popular training sites here. So again, you might have your own training providers, but you can make them highly available by just having some quick clickable links. So these are all clickable and they'll jump into the external website. And then just a bit of information about what we do. So down, down the side here, I've got um, a countdown timer. So this is really handy if you've got a big event coming up. It's nice to, for the, your staff members to see what event is, how long you've got down, how long you've got to go until that arrives. You might have a calendar that is again associates with what your countdown is, what you know, what big events are coming up over a year. And then I've just got some useful quick links again down the side here: book an holiday, report sick leave, company incentives, that type of thing. So you kind of get an idea how you can make this really dynamic to your team and really customize these for all the elements that you use and bring them into one place. So you ain't got to worry about all your staff members uh, forgetting what link that is to go ahead and book a holiday. So let me just discard any changes here. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and I've created a finance page. So this would be for our finance department. And within this finance department page, I've put some, again, some links here for some free training. They might use QuickBooks, might use Sage. I've got the document library. So this is where you would actively keep the documents for that department. A bit of local department news. So again, the department manager might want to put department specific news within this feed. Some more support links if the guys need some help with any particular software that they might be using. And then again, I've just added in some little, um, little element here just to say if you've got some overall metrics for the year that you just want to promote. So now if I jump into the finance document, so this would be the document store within a SharePoint page. Within that, I've created some dummy folders here. So finance folder one, two, three, four, and five. Within folder one, I've gone ahead and I've created a, uh, a dummy finance Excel sheet. What I wanna show you here is the, the level of collaboration that you can have within SharePoint. So if I go ahead and open that, hopefully my colleague Mike will be in it as well soon find out, I hope you don't have no technical issues. So you can see Mike is now joined. And what you can see is you can see a live tab here as both of us kind of rock round and we put some dummy data in 
and we can both live update this um, as we're working on it. The other nice thing is uh, we can go ahead and we can add comments. Um, we can do additional sharing if we need to. So it's really highly dynamic, which is really, really nice. Um, so if I close this down, another big thing that was mentioned is version history. So we've now made some changes on this particular document. I want to revert those changes or go back to a previous document. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open up its sub menu. I'm going to go to version history here. And what I can see here is I can see all the edits that have been made. What this means is that you can't get away with saying that you weren't the last person to make that edit, um, which is really, really nice. And I can go ahead and do a, a restore or I can view that particular version to see if I need to restore it or not. So this is where your version control comes in, which is really, really nice. The other nice thing about document stores is it's highly available through the web browser, but I can also have it syncing down. So what you can see is I've got click demo finance documents folder one, and then there's that, that file there. So it becomes highly dynamic in how you can access that data, either through your local file explorer or through any uh, internet enabled web browser. So that'd be your phone, tablets, laptops, workstations, wherever you might have a hand at that point. So now if I jump back over to click demo to the home page, I've got a human resources tab here. Well, you'll notice it doesn't go anywhere at the moment because I haven't created the page for it. So what I want to do is I just want to quickly create a page for that on the fly with, uh, and so you can kind of see what that process would be and how you can start building out a page for this particular team. What I'm going to do is do the drop down. I'm going to hit page. This is going to give me the option of a black page, a blank page, visual or basic text. I'm going to go blank. I'm going to be moving this little video out of the way. I'm going to create this page. And now it brings me into this new page editor. I'm going to give it the name of human resources. I'm going to give it a nice photo on the background here. I'm just going to use a, a stock image here and just do people, see what we got. Uh, this looks like quite a nice one. So we'll just insert that. And then I want to change the focal point. So that looks pretty good, right? Now I'm going to add some web parts in. So this is where your elements come into the actual page. So here, uh, I might want a hero. This is a hero part. So again, these web parts will have sub options. Uh, I'm going to change this as a single tile because I, I just want to promote one bit of content. I'm going to select a link and then I think I'm going to make this. Uh, I'm going to make this a link to a specific training provider. So let me copy that. So again, it's just an, uh, an external training provider here. So I've added that in. And now what I want to do is maybe I'm going to add a background image onto it. So again, I'm going to do custom image, change image, stock image, something to do with training. That's pretty good. It's not training your mind, but it's uh, <laughs> training-esque. And then I might want to put them um, I'm going to put learning is fun because learning is fun. And then a little learn more. And then you've got your hyperlink, which is all good. That becomes an element and I could publish that. And that would then become a, a clickable link that would take me to that external provider. Let's have a look at some more web parts that we can use here. Another, another one that I use quite regularly is called quick links. Again, this is another great one when I have multiple links here that would then link off either to other pages within SharePoint. Maybe I can link it to individual documents within SharePoint, or I can have it link out to external resources. So human resources here, I might have a link to our HR portal. I might have a link that goes to um, uh, document library. So I do have a temporary document library here. So let me just add a link in. So I'm going to change this. I'm going to do again from let me do, uh, there we go, there's one. So I'm going to select that. I don't like how compact this is, so I'm just going to change this to buttons. Yeah, buttons is a bit better. Uh, go ahead, you can change some more elements of this. Again, you can use a selected image. You can use a custom image if you want to pull one from the, the store, or you can use icons. I like icons, really. 
because then you've got this whole whole list of icons here that you can use um, so is there anything for documents yeah so we can go ahead we can just select a document and so then that would be uh, a link to that document store to that document library so again if anyone who works with human resources they need to get to the human resources general document library they can then just click on that and then that becomes available within the web browser here you've got the options then create folders word documents excel so on and so forth but then i also got the option just to sync that down to my local machine so i'm just going to do that now on the fly and then if i open this up i should now have human resources documents again i can go ahead and just create a folder that will then sync back and then would show within this pane so it's highly dynamic it's very versatile in terms of how you can work with work within SharePoint within a web browser, but then also you can bring that locally on your machine. Now, probably like all of you, I personally like to work through File Explorer, which means I probably never really jump into the web browser, but also I want to have access to this information. What that means is I need a way to make that highly available. I always work in Teams quite a lot. So what I wanted is a way to be able to bring that page into Teams. So what I did was is I create click demo channel here and I've got general. And in that, I've added a little tab, which then just loads me straight into that page, which is really, really nice. But now what say there's a sub department that wants to hit this sub page, like the finance team. So I've created a finance team channel here. You can see there's no links. So I just want to show you how easy it is to, to link, that, um, link that over. So let me go ahead and I'm going to jump down to here. I'm going to grab the URL. I'm going to jump back into Teams and I'm going to hit this plus here. I'm then going to select SharePoint. In this particular case, I'm going to go to a standalone SharePoint site and I'm going to paste that URL in and save. Now, what that means is for that channel, I then have access straight into that sub page. So it's highly available. I ain't got to worry about jumping into web browsers um, and I can still get all that great information.